I'm Sarah Jane Ho, the CEO of Ray Living, a media company based in Beijing. I think a lot of people misunderstand what I do. Some people say, ah, Sarah's teaching French royal manners. You know, she's teaching British royal, manners, Queen Elizabeth's manners. That's absolutely not true. Um, we're not teaching a royal anything. Uh, what, what we're teaching is international etiquettes. At our finishing school, we have a class called deportment, which is how to enter a room, how to sit, how to stand, how to shake hands. Now, in terms of how to sit, of course, you know, when you first sit, you sit on you know, about two thirds of the chair. Your legs should not be crossed. I mean, to be very strict. But your knees, especially if you're a lady wearing a skirt or a dress, your knees should always be together. So, of course, we have a lot of the core classes, such as um, British afternoon tea, Western table manners, uh, setting the table, flower arrangement, dress codes. There was a lot of customization for the Chinese market. How Chinese drink red wine is very different from how Westerners uh, drink red wine. In China, red wine is really for toasting. I myself am equestrian, I, I do show jumping. And um, I took my students, I remember actually, to watch tennis, to watch the China Open. One of them pulled me aside and she said, Sarah, you know, I'm, even though I studied in London for seven years, I'm embarrassed to say that I don't actually understand how a game of tennis is scored. I thought, oh, well, I grew up playing tennis, okay. And then I created this course, Introduction to Expensive Sports. I noticed that my Chinese clients, you know, they enjoyed purchasing nice things, but they didn't necessarily know how to pronounce the brand and they would frequently ask me how to pronounce a brand. And actually understanding how to pronounce the name of a brand is one step towards understanding the culture and the heritage behind a brand. So I created a course called Pronunciation of Foreign Luxury Brands. Saint Regis. Saint Regis. Saint Regis. I grew up in Hong Kong. When I was 14, I, I went off to the States to go to boarding school. I loved my time there, went on to Washington DC, attended Georgetown University. And then I went off to Harvard Business School where I did a two-year MBA. I myself has always been very interested in etiquette. I attended Swiss Finishing School um, and I was so inspired by my time there. It's funny, the, the cook of the finishing school, she was actually Shanghainese. And I would often stay after meals to chit-chat to her in Mandarin and talk about my experience and how much I loved the finishing school. And she, and she, you know, she was the one who said, she said, you know, you should start one like this in China because we were talking about China a lot and the development of China and how you know, incomes have risen, but taste and maybe an, inter, an understanding of an international way of behaving hasn't risen in conjunction with incomes. And that's what inspired me to start Institute Sarita in Beijing in 2012. It's been six years now of doing my finishing school, Institute Sarita, which I love. Essentially, we single-handedly introduced the idea of finishing school, you know, sort of a high-end, elegant etiquette school, to, to China. And of course, there was a lot of media coverage, which we were very lucky to have. I think it just so happens that, you know, a lot of the media, when they cover us, what then, you know, seems to be better on camera is our course called Introduction to Tricky Foods, um, which is how to eat tricky foods elegantly. Peeling an orange open with a knife and a fork and open it, letting it blossom like a flower. It just so happens this looks good on camera. The reason for peeling an orange with a knife and fork is because this tests your highest skill of using a knife and fork, um, and it's just good practice. My inspiration is, is really Martha Stewart living. I'm very passionate about home and living. My mission is to help Chinese women lead a more beautiful life, a more practical life, a more meaningful life.